when they did this installation down here, uh, these are reproductions of paintings that I'd already done. They, they selected those. And when I saw photos, I said, uh, oh, look at this. I've got my own personal uh, traffic jam in the 53rd Street Viaduct. You know. The viaduct installation was a joint effort of the Hyde Park Art Center, the University of Chicago, the South Shore Commission, and the Chicago Public Art Group. And now, this longtime Chicago artist has a whole fleet of truck artwork on display at the Chicago Cultural Center. People just walking through the hallway in our building stop and take a look around because the work is so much fun. Everybody really enjoys trucks. The truck, as an image, was uh, popped up now and then in my work over many years, just as a small figure. Uh, in, a, in a drawing, there might be a, you know, a cup of coffee, a, uh, a house, a bird, a tree, a truck. Claiming French artist Jean Dubuffet as an influence, Himmelfarb's truck paintings often use blocks of color with a black gestural drawing in the foreground. Sometimes he changes gears and works in a different medium. He has such a broad range of media, um, from drawing and printmaking to painting to sculpture. There are so many different fresh takes on a central subject matter. Himmelfarb varies the scale of his creations, too. I did a, a large piece using a real truck, a real pickup truck, and items I found at salvage yards. So it's a life-size piece. Looks very much like one of the trucks coming down the alley near my studio. I'm just composing the same way I would in a painting, moving the shapes and colors around until I get a composition that's exciting to me. And sometimes he works small, using a stack of old library cards he repurposes as drawing paper. I love variety. I like to do one thing one day and something else the next in terms of materials, in terms of scale. I'm, uh, if I've just finished a bunch of uh, 15 by 20 foot paintings and it's refreshing to go back and work on something small, keeps me charged up. Himmelfarb grew up along the west branch of the DuPage River west of Wheaton in a house built by his father. Both his parents were artists and his father once painted a portrait of his son as a young violinist. I learned more by seeing what I saw growing up on the walls of the house by being taken to museums, visiting uh, their friends who had studios, hearing them talk about their work. That was my real art education. I didn't go to art school uh, in the way that many artists do. As a child, Himmelfarb played in the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra for years before committing to the visual arts. He views most artistic endeavors as built from similar parts. All the arts are using language in the same way. That you might change the terminology a little bit, but visual language, you're talking about line and color and balance and harmony and uh, shape, etc. Well, all those things are, are what you need to create a novel or a symphony uh, as well. The earliest image in the Cultural Center exhibition is a crayon drawing he made in the 1950s. Some things stay in people's memories in the back of their mind, you know, through their whole lives and, and become uh, sources of interest and curiosity for them. Which begs the question, why trucks? These trucks are not about trucks, they're about us and our burdens, our, our baggage of one kind or another, our aspirations, our, the skills we bring to things. Uh, so there's not a, a strict interpretation, you know, people can come to these and, and relate to them in their own personal way and they're, they're going to be right.